So, I'm going to do a book haul and a clothes haul today. Do something I've never done. So I said, why not? Let's do it. So, starting off, this beautiful flowy dress that I found at Target for like $7. All about that clearance section. All that summer's over, so everything's going to be on clearance. It's beautiful and it's flowy and I can put it over like a big sweater or cute like top. Oh, I'm so excited for fall, guys. Fall is here and I'm ready for it. Following with the summery theme is this shirt. It's red and beautiful and I'm all about prints and this is like about it. I got this at the Forever 21 plus size section for like $6. So for it, so about it. Chicago did me right this trip. They were for it. They were about this life. And on the same pattern as this t-shirt dress I'm wearing, this is the black version of it. And it's everything and they're so comfy and I'm gonna get sick of wearing these dresses. But I'm not, because they're so comfy, and I'm about that life. Also at Target. And I also ran into H&M, because I just stumbled upon all the like stores in Chicago. Because, of course, my wandering would take me to the shopping area. And this beautiful dress at H&M that was a little bit more than my budget, or more than I would spend at H&M. But I was like, I can't. It has like a loose top. I can't. I can not say no. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful burgundy color. Perfect for fall, and I can't wait to wear it with some tights so, or a nice, like, something coat. Let's go out and live my life in the streets of New York. Next up, this beautiful pants. Look at it. Look at this pattern. It's, it's, it's soft. It's velvety. Got it in Portland at this store called Ross. It literally, the store is like a cheap version of Marshall's, and it's everything that I could ever want in my life. And I need one of those here, and there's only some in, like, a couple states in the US, which is blasphemy. I was this close to going in Chicago when I was there, but I was like, I just went in Portland. I don't need to drop another hundred something dollars. But I got so many clothes for a hundred dollars and I got three pairs of shoes, girl. Girl, don't get me started on cheap clothes. I'm about that life. And I also got this flowy, beautiful pattern at Target for $6. And I'm clearly gonna wear this with like a big oversized sweater some tights now that it's fall weather and I could wear it again in the summer because yes and then going with the fall this sweater look at it it just screams fall to me and I saw it and I needed it in my life so I saw it at my new friend in Chicago we were walking around and she was like oh my boyfriend has this art gallery and her sister has like a pop-up shop that she's doing want to go check it out I was like sure whatever so we went and like I saw this outside I was like, ooh, how much is that sweater? I bet you it's mad expensive. And it was 15 and then she was like, oh, you can get 15% off on that rack outside. And I was like, ooh, girl, how much is that? Because math. And she was like, it's $13. And I was like, I have $12 in cash. Give it to me in $12. She gave it to me for $12. So I was like, yes, it was meant to be. My first, like, official fall sweater. Yes. And then beautifully, lastly, only appropriate, the hangers are falling off is this marble sweater. Look at it in all its glory. I got it at the beautiful store Ross in Portland. And I can't, I can't wait to wear this to all the things, just because. Spider-Man, yes, my, my love for Spider-Man is finally, I don't have like any paraphernalia for like my favorite shows or movies or anything. So like, I need to get, I need to build up my collection. So this is me starting that. It was super cheap. So yes, sweaters. Now moving on to books, I found the Da Vinci Code for free outside of Powell's in um, this bookstore in Chicago. So I was like, duh, I've always wanted to read this when I saw the movie anyways, so, and it's free. I mean, if it's free, it's for me, like Damon and Joe say. Oh, Joe. I also found in a store called 57 Books in Chicago, the, this, I ne never heard about this from James Dasher. Same dude that did the Maze Runner trilogy and that I have Minds books that he's now releasing. It's books one and two for only like twelve, thirteen dollars. So I was like, I'm about this life. Let's do it. Let's support it. I'm for it. And also, in another store called what the heck was it called? Uh, was it Powell's? I think it was Powell's because there was a Powell's in Portland that I went to, but the Powell's in Chicago is known for their cheap books. This book is originally twenty two dollars and I got it for three ninety five. What? They're literally all their deals are like this. And it's called Invisibility Blues. It's about like modern black feminism and how it started and like led to what it is today. And this cover just caught me and I was just stuck in that like 
black feminism power section for so long and I couldn't I kept walking past this and I was like I have to get it so I got it I'm excited to read that and apparently Michelle Wallace is like a powerhouse so I'm like how have I not heard about her before and then of course I just keep getting books that Max Waldem Books recommends because he's a genius and I got Just Kids my Batty Smith I've heard so much about this and it's such a revered memoir so I'm like must must read so I could finally watch the movie right there's a movie on this it's a national book award winner it was only five dollars just deals and it was literally I was looking for it and I was like I'm not gonna find it because they just had books everywhere at the store and then it was right at the front by the cashier and I was like it's meant to be <laughs> so we went to the last one it was like another co-op bookstore which their co-op bookstores are on point and I got this look at I've always wanted a penguin drop cap they're so beautiful. I saw the Pride and Prejudice one, but I can't. I can't own another Pride and Prejudice. I've, I think I need like a, a stop of my addiction of boring owning that book. But it's beautiful. It's my favorite. Oh my god! I just noticed it has green. Oh my god! I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. And the quote in the back is, "He moved his lantern again, causing one picture to fade into shadow and another to appear." So it's an artist of the floating world by Kazuo Ishiguro, and I've been meaning to read. I think I own like three of his books and I haven't read any of them because I'm a horrible human. So I'm like, this beautiful cover, I couldn't help it. And it was green and just stood out. And I'm like, I'm in Chicago, you only live once. So I did it. And yes. And then of course, I can't leave a freaking airport bookstore without getting a book. And I was like, I'm not going to find anything. I was this close to walking out. And then I saw this. Six of Crows. Look at that black border, that beautiful, beautifulness. Oh my God, I can't stop looking at this book. It's so beautiful by Lee Bardugo, you know, of Shadow and Rot, Shadow and Rise, oh god, I can't remember her damn name, the Grisha Trilogy, Rune Rising, Shadow and Bone, Shadow and Bone, bam, ha, huh. it's so beautiful, and I think it's like a continuation of it, but I got another narration, narrator, I have no idea really, I'm, I'm okay with going into this blind, because it's beautiful, and I'm so excited, I need to stop buying books and actually read them because I just keep saying I'm excited about books and there's books that I literally own for like a year, two years, three years. I literally have Landline from when I met Rainbow Rowell. I haven't read that. I bought it. Saw her face. She signed it. Didn't, haven't read it yet. I need, I am, I'm slacking, I know, but hey, it's set in like Christmas time so I think it's perfect timing. Enough rambling in this video. <laughs> I can go on forever. So yeah, I just wanted to show off my stuff. Capitalism. Show off all the goods, isn't that what it, the, they do on the YouTubes nowadays? <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you've read any of these books. Which one should I read first? What are you reading? Let's be book reading buddies. I'm about to read it, um, finish Memory Hearts book. Finally, I started it when I was on vacation, literally more than a month ago, and I'm almost done. So that would be good. And it's so memories, memories are. A hoot as we all know so I'm excited to see how it ends and all her crazy stories so yes I will talk to you guys very soon okay bye